Hello and welcome once again to Anatomy and Physiology at Glen Oaks Community College. I'm Dr. Ren Hartung. And for this video, I just want to briefly talk about what origin, belly, and insertion mean in regards to skeletal muscles. I'm going to try to draw an interesting picture of an arm. This is supposed to be the humerus bone, and then the radius and ulna are down here, and the person's hand. The biceps brachii helps to move the arm in this way. It flexes the arm. Every, every or at least most skeletal muscles have um, a limb that they're moving in some way. And those muscles also cross a joint. So in this case, the biceps brachii is crossing the elbow joint and connecting to the lower arm and doing this kind of movement. The origin of the muscle is the part of the muscle that does not move when the movement is being performed. So for the biceps brachii, the origin is up here on the humerus, towards the top of the humerus. So here's my representation of a biceps brachii. A little overly dramatic, but that'll work. So the origin for the biceps brachii is the top of the humerus. The insertion for the biceps brachii, the insertion for any of the skeletal muscles as described, is onto the part of the body that's moving. So for the biceps brachii, it's going to insert onto the forearm, to the radius and the ulna, and it's going to, um, in this case, you can tell physically where it's inserting. It's down here towards the medial end of the radius and ulna. So the insertion is there. And then the belly, to me, that's the easiest one. It's the thickest part of the muscle. So I'll wrap a little circle around that part of the muscle. So origin of a muscle, belly of a muscle, and insertion of the muscle. And I've given you the specifics for the bicep, at least, for the biceps brachii. And that's, like I said, it was going to be quick. That's origin and belly and insertion. Any questions, as always, email, call. Thanks again for watching.